when I was in jail waiting to go to prison, I was surrounded by guys who'd been locked up and were telling me stories about how your family could bring you food in the visiting room and you could get care packages and all these great things that would happen once I got to prison. And then I got there and found out that none of those things were true, that the only thing your family can bring to visit is a bag full of quarters, and we used to be able to get sandwiches and chips out of the vending machine, and they took even that away as part of the anti-drug policy. Then after a few years, they started letting us get Christmas packages, which were really just commissary orders from a different company for about twice the price. The only good thing about it was that sometimes they had items that we had never had before, so it was like, ooh, I get to get a home-baked brownie for like $8. And they made so much money from kickbacks on those that they started doing them twice a year and then four times a year. So basically four times a year, you, if you've saved up money from your job or your family, can spend twice as much money to order you commissary from a different company. Some places, like the local jail near where I am, actually allow you to order outside food as long as you have good behavior. I mean, I think this is great and that incentives work really well, but it's profoundly unfair because in the jail you can't get a job, so if you don't have money or your family doesn't have money, you have to watch everybody else eat pizza and chicken. 